Hey, welcome back guys. So in the last video we took a look at the Goof Flight Type HG Gundam Base Exclusive Kit. So here we got another Gundam Base Exclusive, the 21st Century Color version of the Gundam Mark II. Really interesting and cool color scheme for the Gundam Mark II here. This is based off of the Gundam Mark II Revive version, I should say, which is a really fantastic kit. So should be awesome. Let's go ahead and check it out. So once again, like with the Goof Flight type, you really have to appreciate this old 80s MSV kind of style artwork here on the front. Looks very cool. Looks very icy, like it's like frozen in ice or something like that for the 21st century real type color version here of the Mark II. There on the end of the box, you can see there's just kind of the same thing. We got the Zeta Gundam logo there, the Gundam base logo. On this side of the box there, just a little bit about the Gundam base and a couple images of that. That's the Gundam base there in Tokyo. And on the other side of the box in vertical format, which is always kind of a pain in the ass to show off on camera, but there you can see some action poses there with this and that color scheme does look very cool with that kind of black and gold and that kind of ice light bluish gray kind of color. Very interesting. It's popping open the box once again. Looks like we've got some nice water side decals and some stickers included with this one. Not as many parts as with the Goof Flight type. It's a simpler design basically. And as you might expect for the manual, we've just got the standard Gundam Mark II, in this case Ayug, but the, the Titan version, I guess, would not be exactly the same. So anyway, we've got the standard manual from the Ayug kit, which I've already reviewed a long time ago when that originally came out. When was that back? 2015. Man, this has been that long since that kit came out? Wow. And then our added page here for the 21st century real type version is in color this time. Whereas if you guys saw in the last review in the Goof Flight type, that was just only in black and white. This is in black and white here on the back for the color guide the decals there, but for our decal guide where to place all the decals everything, we got some nice photos, nice reference photos there, and just the placement of all the decals, so very cool. So we do have some foil stickers there, which is just going to be the same as with the original kit, I would assume, just for the eyes, these yellow accents on the shield, and a bunch of little camera bits. And then this beautiful sheet of water slide decals here. Not that big, but it is kind of packed with a lot of little markings and everything, so for an HG kit this will be really nice. We got PC002 for our polycaps there in grey and then SB13 for our clear pink beam saber effect parts. We've got runner A1, which is in this light gray color here, and runner A2, which is a copy of this section of the runner right there. Runner B1 is all of the joint parts and weapons parts and stuff here in this dark metallic kind of gunmetal kind of color. Looks very cool. And you also got runner B2 for a copy of this corner of the runner right there. Runner C here is in just straight up black. Runner D1 is in a dark navy blue, and D2 is in a really nice looking molded gold. That looks very cool. And lastly, runner E for our eyepiece there in like a clear bluish green color. So there you go, guys. Like I said, I think the Mark II is going to look very cool in this color scheme. So I'm looking forward to getting this one all built up. Let me go ahead and do that and we'll see how she looks. All right, so here is the Mark II all built up, looking very handsome in that new color scheme. Although I will say the main color of it, that kind of light gray color, definitely looks a lot darker. No, not a lot darker, but it looks noticeably darker than what is pictured on the box art and on like the side of the box. It's not drastically different, but at least to me, it looks like a definitely a different color of gray, which is fine. Anyway, the new color scheme on this definitely is very cool, super unique, and I do really like how it looks here on the Mark II. This is just a fantastic kit in general. And again, with this kit, I'm not gonna do like a full on review of the kit because I've already done that, going through all like the articulation and everything. But if we're just focusing on the looks of this now recolored version of that kit, I gotta say, it does look very cool. As for accessories, obviously we've got our two beam saber effect parts for the beam sabers stored up there up in his backpack. We got the beam rifle here with a little foil sticker there for the camera. Pretty simple design. Obviously got some seam line action going on, on that. The forward handle on this does move side to side, so you can bring that up for a two-handed grip if you want. Beam rifle can also be stored on the side skirt. You can see that little tab there and these little bits here on the side. So you can store it on either the left or the right side. And I find that it's just a little bit tricky to do that because the end of that kind of goes right up into like the side of the chest armor there. So kind of depending on the pose, you might have a little bit of a tough time with that because it's pretty tight right up in there. But you can store the beam saber on the side skirt, which is cool. Then we have the bazooka, which is also quite nice. You got another foil sticker for that. And once again, seam lines on this, of course. The forward handle on this one moves forward and back. And this one you can also also store on the kit by folding out this bit here on the back skirt that drops down put your bazooka in here I'm actually putting it in the opposite way but it doesn't really matter all that much there you go that just connects onto the back skirt there for the shield here you got a couple of yellow stickers up there at the top going around here on the back you have two options for the connection piece this connection piece will make the shield onto the back of the arm this connection piece will make the shield on the side of the arm these extra e, e caps up here for the beam rifle are not removable that's just all molded in there together but you do have some nice 
mold of detail up inside there. This like, connection piece doesn't move or anything. That said, this part of the shield can be detached and you can reattach that up into here like this for the collapsed version of the shield if you want to have that just up on the arm like so. Then of course it does also have the Vulcan pod on the head that you can remove that if you want. And then as for the hands, these two holding hands are all that you get with the kit. So a little bit out of luck in that case. And like I said, not gonna go over all the articulation, but just to point out about the stickers, I do love how like when you look at this from the right angle, all these camera stickers there, there on the Vulcan pod, on the head, and then the eyes to a lesser extent as well, just all catch the, li the light really nicely. So you have all these little green bits on there. It does look pretty cool. You do have this sticker, which you can use for the eyes if you want, which would catch the light better. I've just got the clear piece in there and I've got like just the mirror stickers in behind the clear piece. So you are seeing a little bit of shine there, but I just wanted to show you guys how this looks with like just the clear green piece in there without the sticker on top. So anyway guys, let's check out some different action poses here with this. As you guys know, if you've seen the original review of this kit or any review of this kit, or if you have the kit already in one way, shape or form, that it's a fantastic kit, very nicely articulated. It's got a good amount of detail on the outside. It's not really all that detailed. But there's little bits here and there and certainly wide open spaces for you guys to go in and add some more detail if you wanted to do some extra scribing and stuff on this. I think this is actually a, a kit that is very good for practicing your scribing on because it's a relatively inexpensive kit. Well, like the normal version of it is relatively inexpensive kit. Uh, and there it's got just like a, a lot of nice areas where you guys can go ahead and, and practice scribing on stuff. So that said, if you're getting this particular version of the kit, you may not want to use it as like a practice kit just based on the price of it. If you're not able to get it like at the original list price at a Gundam Mace or something like that, and you're probably going to be paying a little bit more for it and you might want to be preserving it as the exclusive item that it is. But I mean, you could just do some scribing or whatever and then not actually paint the kit and that's totally possible. But anyway, my point is that it is a very great kit in this new color scheme. It does look very cool. So if you're a particular fan of this color scheme I would honestly recommend you guys probably just buy the regular kit and then repaint it but if you did want the decals included with that that is something that is going to be very exclusive to this version so that does provide a little bit extra value to buying this particular version of the kit that and that really awesome box art on the front of it I gotta say is very nice I'm nor not normally one to really care that much about like the box but the box art for these kits are very cool so as always guys thank you to USA Gundam store for making this review possible and all the other reviews and all the other videos that I make so check out the link to USA Gundam store and the coupon code down in the video description thank you very much for your support there thank you for supporting the channel too liking the video commenting subscribing all that's greatly appreciated until next time i hope you guys are all having a great day i'll see y'all later bye guys